your eyewitness weather forecast. Good evening, meteorologist Anna Masowski here with your check-in on the weather. We're looking at a time lapse of downtown Utica throughout the day today. We started off with temperatures in the lower 40s and we managed to get into the mid 60s during the afternoon with clouds building in throughout the day. Now for current conditions, we're sitting at 50 degrees. We have calm winds as well. And on current satellite and radar, we could see low pressure system off to the west and that's starting to move into our area bringing those clouds. And for a low temperature tonight, we're going to be in the 30s and the lower 40s, 39 there in Old Forge, 41 in Utica, 45 in Illion. And for those high temperatures tomorrow in the 50s and the 60s, 62 there in Old Forge, 66 in Utica, 63 in Illion, 59 in Cooperstown, and 60 in Oneonta there. And we'll see those temperatures warming up as we head into next week on our temperature outlook. It's only getting stronger and stronger for those warmer than average temperatures. And people have been asking me, well, why are we going to be seeing these warmer temperatures? And why is it going to start drying out as we head throughout the seven-day forecast? Well, the reason why is because of something known as a Rex block. Now, the reason why it has this name is because it was first coined by Daniel F. Rex, and it's because of this pattern of a high pressure system situated over a low that our weather is going to stall into place for several days, even over a week. And in the low pressure system, we get more clouds, rain, and colder conditions, and the chance to see some flooding. Though here in central New York, we're going to have the complete opposite with that high pressure system sunnier, drier, and warmer weather. Now, with this also comes the risk to see drought as well as wildfires, which is especially dangerous this time of the year since we still have that burn ban in effect in New York State. So if you are going to be doing any bonfires or campfires, make sure it's something small that you can contain and never leave those fires unattended. Now for our future cast, moving it forward tonight, we'll continue to see that cloud coverage as we head into tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy skies. As we head into the afternoon hours with that low pressure system to our south, we could be seeing a couple of scattered rain showers working their way further south of the Mohawk Valley in areas like Oneonta. The will start to dry out as we head throughout the evening hours to eventually Saturday morning, still holding on to that cloud coverage, though by the afternoon hours, we'll start to see more sunshine peeking through there. Now to recap for tonight, we'll have mostly cloudy skies, light winds, low temperature at 41 degrees, and for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies as well, light breeze out of the east, 5 to 10 miles per hour, and those high temperatures in the mid-60s. Now for the seven-day forecast, as we head into tomorrow night, low temperatures in the lower 40s, and as we head into this weekend, we'll continue to see that sunshine, sunny skies on Sunday, which is actually Mother's Thursday, high temperature at 67 degrees there, looking very nice. And as we head into the start of next week, temperatures are going to be in the lower 70s on Monday, upper 70s on Tuesday, and feeling very much like summer as we head into midweek, 81 degrees on Wednesday and 83 degrees on Thursday. So feeling a lot like summer, though I don't think people are going to be complaining <laughs> about that, Jamie. Definitely not. Thanks, Dan. There's more eyewitness news coming up right after the break.